Good morning, Rochester. Here's the lovely view we got. That is a nice little view. Little sun coming out. Little building restoration company. <laughs> there are the train tracks of the train that went by at one in the morning. Oh yeah, that was really loud, wasn't it? It was super loud because they got to honk their horn to go past this intersection. So yes, we are we are up and alert. It is 6.13. My first appointment is in one hour. We're going to see if they happen to have anything in the breakfast that, like, that makes sense for us to eat or stash in here. We actually have this room till 2 p.m., so that's kind of cool. So we'll be able to go do my appointment and then still come back here and, you know, crash, nap, whatever. Uh, hang out if they want me to do more tests or anything like that. But, yeah, obviously just took a shower. Um... I woke up in the middle of the night at like almost 2 a.m. Apparently I um, turned off my midnight alarm where I was supposed to take my pain meds. So therefore I didn't take my pain meds and I was in a lot of pain, yep. like intense, intense pain. I had to go get her in her, some ice yeah. <laughs> from a different floor. And you had to get me ice. Pad yeah, and... we had to do all that, but then I took my pain meds and now I'm feeling decent again. But I do think that that air mattress is what's keeping, like there's something about that air mattress and the movement of the car that like really helps my pain. So I don't know, but yeah. Middle of the night drives when we get home. Yeah, so let's go check out the breakfast. All right, so we went down to the breakfast. It's basically your typical continental breakfast. It's get they've got, you know, well, the one thing that they had that's good for me right now is apple juice, which I've been using because I've been taking Miralax and it kind of like is a good thing to mix with it because the consistency doesn't get weird. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to, so I did get some apple juice that I'm going to use for my, my Miralax after we get back from my doctor's appointments, but I really didn't want to eat anything because I was doing blood work. So I didn't know if they wanted me fasting anyway, but just for future reference, they do have fruit. The one thing I will say about staying in like the extended stay hotel in here is and this is just a barrier I have to get over I'm not ready to be part of the cancer community does that make sense I get it I'm not ready to be someone with cancer and like it's just clear from like I'm not trying to like I'm just telling you guys what I'm going through and what I'm feeling we're in a hotel we're clearly at that breakfast down there. There's clearly like people who are fighting cancer. They've got their shirts on. They're, you know, they're either, they're either their loved ones are fighting or themselves are fighting and they're here for the Mayo Clinic. Like that's pretty evident. Yeah. Um, and I'm not ready to accept myself as part of that. And that's not, like, I'm not trying to be mean or like, you know, like whatever, but like, I'm in that group now yeah. and that really kind of, my brain hasn't associated with that yet. So like people have even sent me like support groups and stuff like that to join and I'm just not ready. And I know I will at some point be ready, but right now I don't know if I'm in denial or what it is, but I'm kind of like freaked out. So I'm interested to see how it goes when we go to Mayo Clinic today. Cause obviously there's going to be, you know, a lot more of that. So um, up till now, I've just been in a regular hospital where I've been, you know, like, okay, yeah, there's a few cancer patients here or there, but it's not like, mm -hmm. I don't know. You have yeah. any thoughts on that? No, I completely get it. Completely understand. So it's just, it's also a completely different world up here too. The simple fact that there's like at home infusion billboards on the way in just blows my mind. But you know, here we are. Yeah going to the Mayo Clinic to fight yeah. cancer. Yeah, so anyway, just sharing my thoughts, but let's, you know, get ready, get in the car and go, go on to our, meetings, yeah. to our meetings and see how it goes.
Okay, guys, we are exhausted. So today has been insane. Yeah, long. We, we got up and left around what seven, six forty-five. We woke up at five forty-five. <gasps> yeah. Got out of the hotel at six forty-five. So we had to park at the Mayo Clinic, which that was interesting because it's like a whole parking garage situation. Yeah, it's like you drive, you just like, yeah, we found the big parking garage. We were supposed to go to the is it the Gonda building? Yep, and um, there's a giant parking garage, so we found that. And then we, but the building that you go into is just like this insane tall building, and so we're driving around and it's like Mayo Clinic and like. This place is no joke, you guys. It's overwhelmingly crazy, like, insane. Like, you just walk in and there's... I don't even know how to describe it. It's like walking around in, like, an airport, hotel, resort combined with, like, crazy artwork everywhere. And, like, it's just, like, the nicest... I don't know. And it's chaos, but, like, orderly chaos. There's a lot of people, but at the same time, the staff and stuff are on top of everything, it seems, and are very well organized. Yeah, like the, everything is, it's very, very obvious where you need to go from checkpoint to checkpoint, like from place to place. Um, there's plenty of people to direct you around. There's, but there's like so many different elevators and buildings. And then at the bottom level of the Mayo Clinic, they have the subway level which I was like, is there like a subway, like restaurant or like a subway, like a train? No, it's like the level where you can walk and access all the different buildings because Mayo Clinic is like a city. Like the whole city is the Mayo Clinic. <laughs> like It's like all these building, different interconnecting buildings. So you can walk below and on the subway level and get between buildings and everything like that. So like we had to do the first appointment in the G G Gonda building and then we had to go to the Hilton building for me to get my blood work done. And I don't know, the waiting rooms are just like huge, but like super organized and you feel really comfortable. Like everything's like spread far enough apart that you don't feel like you're all on top of each other. Like waiting in a queue or something yeah. like everything's very just organized but the whole experience was just so overwhelming <laughs> it was very surreal and mm. it it was a combination of just feeling like privileged to be in such a, an establishment with so many amazing doctors who are like going to be looking at little old me like it's like the privilege but also like not wanting that privilege because I don't want to be in this position where I have to be like getting treatment at all. And so it's like the combination of being feeling like just so fortunate and blessed that I'm like so I'm able to get treatment at the best in the world like one of the best places in the world but then also like wishing i just didn't have cancer and didn't have to get treatment at all yeah <laughs> like you know the combination so whew. um but yeah i also i felt like i felt i kind of felt like a new kid the new kid at school on the first day where like everyone else knows where they're going and you're just like carrying your little folder because you're like i don't know what i'm doing and like <laughs> <laughs> yeah basically that's kind of how i felt all day today but um so we did the the first appointment was just like at the information desk kind of an instructional appointment where they give you like a pamphlet all kinds of folder with all kinds of information maps all that and then they sent us over and explained how we could go to get the blood work done so we did that um and they just had to take like three vials of blood just do some basic blood work and then after that we actually had a gap between appointments so we decided to go outside because rochester is beautiful weather in july people you know well, at rochester, least right now at, at least, least at this right particular now, time this in particular july day it is like 70s beautiful nice breeze it is gorgeous compared to yeah. st louis which is like it was 90 something 90 something all the humidity like this is amazing um, and so we just kind of like walked around outside a little bit and looked at all the, they just have so many like 
little gardens set up and like really cool buildings with like fancy architecture and like just all this crazy stuff so mm -hmm. we were just walking around outside looking and taking it all in and like just look you know they have all flowers everywhere and like sculptures and crazy stuff um but then do you want to tell them what happened what we found so uh <laughs> we were walking to the people's food co-op which is a place that we've been to before the last time we were here in rochester and we had a little meet up while we were there the, the first time not this time and on the way we passed by kroc the radio station and we were like, holy cow, like, this is amazing. Did they call it like K-Roch for Rochester or K- He said it's not K-Rock, like K-Rock that's in LA. Anyway, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, either way, we ended up talking to uh, who was like the content well, director Well, we saw the whatever. truck first that was like yeah, well, yeah. K-R-O-C. And I was like, wait. And we and then I was like, oh, yeah, I kind of remember last time we were in Rochester, they had the K, a radio station that's K-R-O-C. And so we had to check out the little signs. So then I was like, do you think we should knock on the door and like see if they can give us like some swag that has KROC on it? Uh, and so, so yeah, that's exactly what we did. Yes. Shout out to Troy, who was yeah. super nice, let us in, took yeah. us in there and talk, chatted with us for a bit. And he gave us some stuff. He gave us some like bottle openers and and some shirts and stuff and like it was just it was fantastic it was great had a little chat with him uh, as well beforehand and well we both used to work in radio so like it's we just know, we know that world business, we know yeah. that world but yeah it was like it's our station um and then what do we do then we uh went to the people's food co-op yes and uh got a breakfast burrito which uh, we'd gotten them before when last time we were there. So it was really good. Uh, I mean, obviously they make really good breakfast burritos. And in fact, Jessica's been craving breakfast burritos like ever since- uh, Ever since we were in Albuquerque was, where there's we like a vegan breakfast burrito mecca of the world. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we the co-op is so cool. They have like so much really good organic produce there. So like if we do end up living here, well, you know, when we end up living here for certain extended periods of time, yeah. we're definitely gonna be frequenting the co-op. They have like the most amazing bulk bins for they have spices and they also have like all the grains and all the all kinds of stuff like that in the bulk bins yeah um so we'll definitely be frequenting the co-op um for sure that's like it's such a great little thing but then outside the co-op they also have the little uh what do you call that it's like a an electric robot car kind of thing yeah it just goes in a big loop around by the people's food co-op and the mayo clinic and does it have one other stop no it just does the just two. those two so yeah it's it was just sort of this fun little thing we went on to the, uh, the last time we were here and this time it actually dropped us off at the mayo clinic again so we yeah, didn't have so to walk all it, the way back so we took it from people's co-op back to the mayo clinic um for my 9 30 appointment which was with the actual one of the actual doctors that will be on the team that is like looking at my case treating like trying to figure out the treatment plan all that yeah um so we you check in and then they call you up to you know you're in this huge waiting room and they call you to your door that you're supposed to go to and um we had we actually talked to another doctor before the regular doctor that my appointment was with and mm -hmm. um she was really cool because she has a she said she has a passion for like um treating um young adults young adults with cancer and so like she was definitely very passionate about my case which was really refreshing um so yeah we 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 don't have a lot more information about like my treatment plan or anything because they're still kind of piecing everything together but we have more information just reassuring us that like they're going to put together this amazing team to help me fight this thing yep. and what was it that you said like the most important takeaway from that meeting was uh that they are treating it uh in a curative manner meaning that they believe that they can kill it yes and it's not just a oh we're gonna shrink this down to give you time kind of deal and that's the thing that i that i told her that you really need to take away from this is that they are going to fight this like they are going to kill it yeah and you know it was it was really great just to like 
I mean, they, they were talking about like having my case potentially reviewed by like the tumor board and like, it's just like insane to think like a yeah. little old me like you're gonna be like i don't know so there's definitely we'll talk about this in future videos more of like kind of what the specifics are like there are a few different paths depending they're still confirming the pathology on their end um and there are a few different paths that it might go with the treatment so we're still just kind of trying to, there's still a lot we don't know but right now it's like what almost three o'clock in the afternoon and yep. we so we we uh, grabbed some food at after we, we left the Mayo Clinic and walked back out through their amazing like freaking crazy hallways and yeah. all the surrounding buildings and everything um, and then we actually headed to Old Abe's which is a vegan place in St. In, in Louis in Rochester uh, we're not in St. Louis anymore uh, it's a vegan place and we got some a bite to eat there took it back to our hotel which really was really cool because the hotel that we're at actually had 2 p.m. checkout so we were able to stay in our hotel room till 2 p.m. But we have another appointment at Mayo Clinic at 4, which just got scheduled today for a CT scan. Yep. So we will be heading back over for that. And then we're going to hit the road and go on home. Um, so we're not going to be getting home till probably 1 or 2 late. in the morning. Yeah, it'll be late. <laughs> but it's just been a crazy, overwhelming day. I feel like this is so surreal like this isn't my life this is like yeah. some other this is like i don't know i told her it's like a fictionalized version of us at least it feels like it like somehow we ended up on an episode of this is us and it's just like yeah it's what? like what but i just feel so fortunate to be here today and to you know just be able to get this amazing level of care and i just really hope that I I don't know it's it it kind of feels like it's it's this is just the beginning of a lot of things yeah and so it, you don't ever really feel like we feel better like you know I asked Brian I was like do you feel better now like having been there and what what did you say I feel more calm now like I, this is the most calm I felt in a few weeks yeah but at the same time it's also like oh like this just this is just a door opening to a whole nother like thing and so like it's not really there's no like resolution or like oh yeah this is going to be over on this day like this it kind of sinks in like this is just going to be an ongoing thing for like indef Years. indefinitely yeah. in our lives and um yeah but anyway enough rambling um we're gonna head we're gonna take a little bit of a break we actually have a fertility a call with a fertility clinic so we don't really have a break <laughs> we never get a break but uh we're gonna do a call with the fertility clinic here in a few minutes and then we're gonna head back to the the mayo clinic and then like i said we're gonna drive drive on home and just i'm gonna be sleeping in the back a lot because i am in a lot of pain right now and I am just exhausted yep. to the but extreme. I actually took a bit of a nap, so I'm feeling a lot better now. And I should be good to go for the trip home. I'll be listening to a bunch of good, fast, happy music and uh, and all of that. But guys, I will get her home safe, I promise. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <sighs> so we caught on this one? Mm -hmm. All right. Should I just say goodbye? Yeah. Okay. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you next time.